Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here on yet another Sunday bagel run. I feel ever so much better than I did yesterday. Of course, that sort of went away about midday, about the time that um, I got annoyed with Apple and came out of the Best Buy store. I felt a lot better. But then going to Pleasure House Point and walking around definitely, definitely helped. And I, I felt pretty decent all night. I didn't get the greatest night's sleep, but I also didn't get the shittiest night's sleep either. So I feel all right. Today is going to be garage day. I'm going to get started on that. I know I've been harping on that, you know, but today I'm definitely going to do some stuff. I'm not going to do a lot, though. I know that I can be a dumb monkey and I can push myself and I would go out there for like 13 hours and, and move absolutely every last thing that I could. And then I would be miserable. All right. Going to run in and get the bagels. Bagels gotten. I'm going to go snarf this bagel. Try not to chode on the couch for too long. And then I'm going to get out into the garage and get cracking. Okay, so here's what's going on. As you can see, we got a big freaking mess in here. I have everything jammed everywhere into the outer walls as I can get them, but still get to this box. I've broken down that big shelf and taken all the nails and random shit that they had screwed in there enough because I'm not taking that whole thing down. There's no need for it, it can stay there. And then I cleared out over as far as it needs to go, which is just maybe uh, maybe a f up to 10 inches to a foot past that little particle, like hole board, whatever the fuck you call it, pegboard. And it'll definitely not go up any higher than that. Obviously, as you can see from the, the sides sitting there, so now it's just a matter of popping this thing together and it's literally, you just stick them in there and shove them down into place. So I don't see that taking much more than 20 minutes tops. And that's just with me trying to figure out where the hell I want things to be. So I'm gonna do that. Now what happened is because I've built all this stuff up into the door, I couldn't get in. So I had to have my wife unlock the front door and then I'm just going out through the garage door. Now, as you can see, I'm keeping the garage door open because it, it's in the 60s and it is absolutely pleasant.
First of all, I'm totally beat. But, as dumb monkey is wont to do, I'm not stopping until I finish this, because this is gonna stress me out. So here's what we got. I have now built up underneath the stairs so that it is completely filled with shit that we're never gonna touch. I got the, the cat box down there if we should ever need it and I can get to it. What's gonna go on top of that though is the Christmas tree, which I also took those boxes out into the living room because we're gonna break that down today. Here's where I have all my ammunition and uh, you know a couple other random things. Right now this thing is filled with things that don't get touched or used. That's gonna end up getting, I'm gonna get rid of that shit. I mean, it has literally been here for years. It's all messed up, it stinks. It's just annoying, with the exception of that. I bought that to go with that, which I'm gonna have to put stuff in there because this is a disaster too, but that's for another day. Right now it's just getting the stuff all set. You know, I keep my vacuum cleaner out, my wet dry vac and stay there. The cat puke cleaner that we hardly ever use because he just pukes too much. I got my safe under there that I don't remember the combination to, so I'm gonna have to find that. And for now, I put the bike back up over there, but now the light can go back there and I did verify that the, well, it's back there behind the wheel, but the socket does work. So now the light will be perfect for right there, which is gonna be the studio. Now, all this shit in here is either garbage or it's stuff that needs to go back into the Forerunner. So right now, I'm gonna start loading the Forerunner back up, you know, just because that's the way I keep it. And then I can reorganize this stuff. The bench will likely slide back in there. And then I'll, at some point I can uh, build the background stand. But that's, again, for another time. Right now, this is all just reorganization of junk. I'm starting to build up a lot of cardboard again, and I don't know that I wanna cut it all up because I've got this thing. I can get rid of that thing now because I'm past the time of taking it back. That's filled with cardboard and shit. I got the weight bench and all this stuff. So it all needs to go away. I think I've got this pretty much done for the day. There isn't a lot more I can do. Uh, I have to get rid of all this garbage. So I'm gonna show you what I've done. All right, obviously the Forerunner's built back up because all that shit's out of here. All of this is garbage. This is garbage. I just hung the ladder things back up. So now those are on there. And then I mounted those with those two hook thingies that were on that little pegboard behind me. So basically, I think I need to take a trip to the dump and that's what all that shit's gonna be. I mean, for now, those cushions are just right there because we need to put the Christmas decorations away and all that shit. Um, and again, some of that stuff's gotta go. I will probably keep this the way that it is, although I'll pull the bench out a little bit, but this can stay right there. The bench can stay right there. I took off the leg thing because I'm never gonna use it. And other than that, all this stuff can stay, well, all the stuff back there can stay, except again, I will get rid of that eyesore of tools that I never use. I will likely keep this mirror. Now I can stare at myself and flex when I'm, when I'm lifting. <laughs> yeah, okay. So now it is just about three o'clock and I need to go get Bean. Okay, Bean has been gotten. And now it's time for realization. Holy shit, doing all that work in the garage has completely wiped me out. So I am definitely done for the day. Sitting in there waiting for them to make the drinks, everything just tightened up and I'm like, oh. And I feel like I didn't even do that much, but I guess I really did. This is the point where, you know, dumb monkey does dumb monkey shit. And I would go back there and I would completely take down all the Christmas decorations, go in there, do a second run through of all the crap. If the dump were open today, I'd probably go there. That, that's how stupid I can be. I have nothing else to talk to you about today. I just wanted to, to actually give you proof that I did the garage. I cut a lot of it down because, you know, how much of a time lapse do you need to see me walking around the garage? I cut little snippets, put them all together, and there you go. That project is pretty much done other than the garbage that needs to be, to be taken away. And I'm happy with that. So I'm also happy with the fact that it was like 66 degrees while I was doing it. So the garage door open, fresh air, definitely dug it. It was a good day. So that's it. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. This is going to be a tough one because I'm in construction. So, oh, as always, thanks for joining me. And remember, kids, forward and up.